Hello again, it's Peanut uh, with a gun review slash opinions. Uh, my personal uh, concealed carry firearm used to be the Caltech P3AT or 380. And I chose that because it was the lightest, smallest, uh, most capable. I think a 380 is pretty capable. Uh, pistol I could get. I could carry that thing in my pocket. I wouldn't even know it was there. Carried six rounds. Uh, carried extra mag, and uh, it was affordable. I bought it probably five years ago. And I paid about two sixty, two seventy. It was wasn't really that much. Uh, I got desert camo, or no, it was flat dark earth. Uh, and I didn't like it, so I wound up. I went to Caltech and I got another handguard or frame, and I put on it. The Caltech you can do that because the serial number is on. Well, it's not on the handle. <clears throat> anyway, long story short, I carried that for five years. Uh, normally, sometimes I'd carry my nine millimeter. Uh, in the winter, I usually carry bigger gun. Uh, in the summer when it's hot and you don't wear that much clothes, it's just easier to conceal a smaller 380. Uh, this summer, they had a promotion Smith & Wesson had, where if you buy a bodyguard, you get, uh, depending which one you buy, you got a rebate. Well, I was interested in the 380 bodyguard. It was $350 with a $50 rebate, so that would cost me $300. And I think at my gun shop, it was $300 out the door. <clears throat> so I thought, you know what, I'm going to upgrade. Uh, the Caltech worked good. I never had to use it. I shot it. <coughs> Excuse me. Never had any problems with it. Uh, one thing I just didn't like about it is a lot of people uh, have a bad opinion about Caltechs. And... Uh, I didn't like that. Uh, I wanted a, a gun that was uh, a respectable gun. Now, Glocks don't make a tiny, tiny gun. I do have a 43, and I do like it. I do carry that a lot. Uh, it's a good gun. But <clears throat> the bodyguard is a very tiny uh, concealed weapon. Now, this one does have a loaded mag, and I'll unload it right now. Safety check it. It's clear. Uh, there's a lot of things I like about this. Uh, one, it's got an easier takedown than the Caltech. The Caltech, you need to uh, push pin out. <coughs> this one, you don't. <coughs> well, you got to pull the pin out, but it's a lot easier than the Caltech to take apart and clean. Not that you do that all the time with your concealed carry weapon uh, unless you shoot it a lot but the bodyguard is by far a, uh, or Smith & Wesson is by far a better name than Caltech. I do like Caltech and I have several Caltech weapons uh, PF9 sub 2000 uh, I think is all I have left uh, I tra had some other ones like the P3AT and I traded them off uh, P3AT I traded off on this, uh, so I traded that and uh, it was about, I think I got 150 for that and I have another 150 for this and then I got a $50 rebate in the mail, but it was a pretty good upgrade because uh, I really like this gun. Now I've only shot it, a couple hundred rounds out of it, <clears throat> of course no, no flaws, no failures, uh, it's Smith. You know, uh, that that's an upgrade over Caltech. I'm sorry. It just is. Even if you're a Caltech fan and you like the 380 Caltech, you got to admit the 380 Bodyguard is an upgrade. Uh, it just is. And uh, <clears throat> from the factory, you get two mags, uh, hold six rounds a piece. Uh, from the factory, I got a nice little pouch with a zipper carrying case be nice for your purse but I don't carry a purse so I sold that on eBay for 10 bucks so I got $10 back 
<coughs> Excuse me. Today we're drinking Bubba Cola. You know why? Because it's cheap. And uh, then the nickels and dimes add up to uh, another gun eventually. Now, it looks like I got two different kinds of ammo in here, but. One looks like brass, one looks like copper, but they're both hollow points. I carry hollow points in there. And <clears throat> in my car, I have a 10 round clip. <laughs> I know, I just pissed somebody off because I called it a clip. I know it's a magazine. I just did that to piss somebody off. Somebody out there is laughing right now because they said, Hey, dummy, it's not a clip. Uh, the 10-round magazine I got off eBay it was pretty cheap. It's blued steel or painted steel. I don't know. These look kind of like... They're not... I don't think they're stainless. They look kind of like they're galvanized. But they're a bare metal. They got the Smith logo on them. I trust them with my life. This one here doesn't have a Smith logo. It's Pro Mag. Uh, but it holds 10 rounds. I carry this in my car. Now this came with a plastic grip extension. Which, when you loaded it, it was fine. It would stay in place. But with it unloaded, it would slide up and down. And I thought about gluing it fast, but I thought, no, it's, it do, I don't need that. I just slid it off. I put it somewhere. I kept it. Uh, I can shoot this gun just fine with that mag hanging out bare like that. Uh, I actually get half of my ring finger on it and half of it on the magazine. And then my pinky is on the magazine. So, the 10 round mags, uh, probably good to have, uh, maybe not to carry, or to carry, uh, I carry a loaded mag, and then I usually carry an extra mag on my person, usually, uh, unless I'm wearing shorts or something, <laughs> but, long story short, my videos tend to, I tend to ramble. Uh, the sights, you can adjust the sights on it. It's got where you can see whether there's one in the in the chamber. Uh, don't trust it. It could be a piece of lint in there. Always open it up and make sure. What I like too is it has a double strike capability. This thing, uh, the trigger, <laughs> there's lint falling out of it. Uh, the trigger's always ready to go. And I know I shouldn't probably dry fire now, but I wanted to just show you that. I like that feature, so I never had a 380 that wouldn't strike, it wouldn't fire if it was strike, struck. But that's nice to know that you have that. You, if you know it's loaded and you hit it and uh, for whatever reason it didn't go off, you could hit it again. And if it doesn't fire, spit that sucker out. Now... <clears throat> When I carry that, I tend to carry an ankle carry. This is a Barsoni. It is an ankle carry. It has a strap that goes around your top calf. Now this is like cheap nylon Velcro. Okay. At the top and then it has one for down around your ankle. Uh, you're all pretty familiar with ankle carries. I'm sure. Uh, it's very comfortable. At first it wasn't. Because that top strap would like dig in. It would dig in the top of my calf. And uh, if you don't have calves it ain't going to work. But I got calves. Uh, but after a few months of carrying it. It became really comfortable. I've actually worn this to bed. Because I've forgotten to take it off. Uh, sometimes I'll wear it around the house with in with my sweatpants and I sleep in sweatpants so uh, Especially if I go out during the day with sweatpants on to do run errands or something like that and I have it on uh, I'll come home watch TV go to bed and, <laughs> and I'll wake up in the morning. It's like oh my god. I still got my gun on me 
uh, because it's so comfortable. Uh, again, this is a Barsoni. Uh, it is adjustable. Uh, I think I can fit my 9mm Caltech in this. I can't remember. But I used to carry my Caltech 380 in this. And, of course, the bodyguard is just as small. <clears throat> I think it's just a little heavier because it's a little beefier. But if you're looking for a good concealed carry uh, personal protection weapon... Uh, the Bodyguard 380, how can you beat it? I mean, you got six rounds of 380. Uh, who's going to argue that six rounds of 380 is isn't going to work? Uh, somebody will. Someone will say, well, you got to have a 45 or you're not going to hurt someone. Why sit there and scratch them with a 380 when you can blow them to pieces with a 45? Well, okay, then buy a 45. But... Uh, the 380 auto <coughs> is very capable of killing someone or at least taking them out of the fight. Uh, you shoot someone with this, you're going to kill them or you're going to hurt them really badly. Unless you're hopped up on meth and then double tap, shoot them again. Uh, you open up an artery, they're not going to walk very far. They're not going to uh, move very far. Anyway... Uh, my personal opinion is it's a good, great gun, great gun to buy, great gun to carry. Uh, I have absolutely no nothing negative to say about it. You know, a lot of people are going to complain about the trigger. Oh, this trigger is too hard. You know, whatever. You know, you know what adrenaline is. Uh, <laughs> when you have to pull that trigger, you'll pull it. And if you're one of those people who thinks trigger's too hard, you know, whatever. You're entitled to your opinion. I don't think it is. Uh, but I got strong hands. Uh, even for a, a, a lady, I don't think a lady would even have trouble pulling trigger on this. I mean, yeah, it might be strong, but, uh, you know, when your life's on the line, you can pull just a little bit harder. It's, I don't know what the poundage is on it, but... It's a great gun. Uh, I would trust my life to this. I would trust the life of my family to this. I would trust uh, my wife's life to this. Um, if she was just wanting to carry it, I would feel safe. I got lint in it. I'm going to take it apart and clean it. It's I've carried this for about six months now since it's been new. And I think I'm going to take it apart and clean it. But I'm not going to do that on video because there's other videos on it. Anyway, my opinions of it, it's awesome. Uh, even still, right now, probably three and a half, maybe three hundred dollars. You can't buy a better gun that's smaller and more capable than that and with a better name, Smith & Wesson. No. Doesn't actually, has a logo on it. <laughs> it doesn't say Smith & Wesson, but uh, M&P, Bodyguard. Two thumb, uh, as, uh, as Such or Scooch, whatever his name is. Two thumbs way up. Uh, that guy's awesome. Big fan. Anyway, thanks for watching.